Hello there. Hello and welcome back to the Decot Discast. Today is Wednesday, January 11th, 2023, and it's Wacky Wednesday, which doesn't really mean anything except it's wacky. Anyway, today we're talking about Iger implementing new rules for employees, two nighttime shows coming back in April at Disney World, an opening date for Tron Light Cycle Run, a store at Downtown Disney closes after 20 years, and more. It was announced yesterday on Taco Tuesday that the barges at Epcot will be getting removed to make way for the return of Epcot Forever on April 3rd. I did a work from the parks visit to Epcot yesterday and I was so excited to hear this news as I was in the park looking at the barges throwing up in World Showcase Lagoon because I cannot stand the sight of it. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited to get the beautiful Vista back and also returning on April 3rd, Happily Ever After will be back at Magic Kingdom. It'll feature all new projections down Main Street USA and Disney Enchantment will be offered through April 2nd. If you're looking to enjoy a night of fine dining at Epcot in Disney World and enjoy Japanese cuisine, you can now book reservations for Takumi Te. It is an omakase sushi restaurant that recently reopened in the Japan Food Pavilion at Epcot. They weren't taking reservations upon reopening, but it looks like that has changed. If you've been looking for your chance to book a reservation at Takumi Te, make sure you check the My Disney Experience app for possible reservation openings. I love mugs. You all should know by now that I love mugs. Michelle rolls her eyes every time I spy a mug that I want when we're in a Disney shop. But if you're a mug junkie like me, then you might find some of these new mugs at Disney's Hollywood Studios right up your alley. There's a Disney World Metal Camp mug for $19.99 at Celebrity 5 and 10. At the same place, there is a Muppet mug for $24.99. And what's cool about this mug is that it's animal's face. The entire mug is like molded an animal's face. It's really cool. There's also a Crush and Squirt Nemo mug and a Pooh Bear Good Morning mug. Each of those mugs costs $19.99. The Pooh mug is a picture of the old school Pooh Bear holding hands with Piglet as they walk away. And and the mug is like in the shape of a honey pot, so it's really cute. I like all those mugs. If I had room for any more mugs, I'd just get them all. Pixar Day at Sea on the Disney Cruise Line has a new look for The Incredibles, and it looks like they ditched the molded face and instead is typecasting performers to fill the role. It's definitely different not seeing the molded faces, and Disney has to shift focus now to start typecasting these characters. I'm not sure if this change is only for Disney Cruise Line, but in the photos that uh, I found on Instagram, Edna Mode and Mrs. Incredible are now face characters. Disney Parks tweeted on Monday night hinting at an opening to Tron this spring. The tweet was a short video of the high scores in the Tron game, and one of the scores is US 13,212,000. 23 as a possible hint that'll open on april 21st 2023 the one and the three equals four and then the 21 and the 2023 the other scores were head nods to other milestones like magic kingdom's opening date jeff bridges birthday opening date of the original tron and more then yesterday disney parks tweeted another riddle if you will that basically confirmed the opening date for tron which is now april 4th 2023 that's right so what disney's going to be doing is opening it up for cast members first and then annual pass holders and eligible dvc members and then after that they'll be opening up to the public so you bet your bottom dollar that i'm going to do my damnedest to try to get on one of those previews still hanging around walt disney world let's go to magic kingdom monday kicked off the first Disney After Hours event at Magic Kingdom. Ticket costs between $145 to $159 per person, depending on the day. Dates have already started selling out, so if you're interested in joining one of these events, go to the calendar, take a look, and get your ticket. The ticket will get you three hours in the park after it closes, plus you can enter the park as early as 7 p.m. so you can get a head start on the fun. The hours vary depending on the park hours that day. So Monday night's event had incredibly low wait times for all your favorite attractions. And one of the perks of after hours events are the complimentary snacks, including ice cream, popcorn, and select bottled beverages. Imagine having unlimited Mickey ice cream bars. You gotta be careful with that because that, those calories can count up 
add up really quickly although i think the rule in disney world is is it calories don't count or they're just like half you let me know but are you planning on attending a disney after hour event let me know in the comments let's talk about a disney world resort the Disney World's Boardwalk Inn's lobby is getting a refurbishment. Finally, the planned refresh, which is expected to also include guest rooms, was announced in the spring of 2022. In an earlier discast, I mentioned that my friend stayed at the villas at Boardwalk Inn and said the rooms were falling apart. So I'm looking forward to having this resort refreshed. Um, Disney said that it's including guest rooms, so I don't know if they're gonna be starting at the villas or even doing the villas. I assume I'd still consider them guest rooms, but typically villas are separated out from your typical cash paying guest rooms. But I'm hoping that the entire resort is refurbished as from what I understand, it's pretty much falling apart. So Iger had something to say recently for all of the hybrid employees at Disney. According to CNBC, Iger sent an email to all the hybrid Disney employees and indicated that they must return to Disney's corporate offices to work physically within the office at least four days a week starting March 1st, 2023. In an email, Iger shared that he had been, quote, meeting with teams throughout the company over the past few months, end quote, and had been, quote, reminded of the tremendous value in being together with the people you work with, end quote. So the pandemic has totally changed, as we all know, the way that we all work, and the majority of us have a hybrid arrangement with our employers. I feel like most of us do. Um, I'm very fortunate to have a remote position, and I'm curious to see how people will react to their new hybrid arrangements starting in March and having to be in the office four days a week. I, would, I wouldn't call that a hybrid. If that change is being made on March 1st, that means your position is being changed from hybrid to in office, right? Because four days a week in the office is hardly considered hybrid, my opinion. I'd like to hear what you think about this. Uh, it also seems to me that Iger is trying to get things back to pre-COVID, but he wasn't around as, at Disney as CEO during those difficult times. I have a feeling there's going to be cast members, especially in corporate, because this is the ones that are mostly impacted here, that are going to look elsewhere for employment if they are forced to go back to the office. Employees who were already working at Disney prior to the pandemic were already used to having to go into the office every day. Then, of course, there are the newer hires that are accustomed to the nice hybrid approach. Although two years is a long time to get comfortable with something. So even those that have been there prior to COVID-19, being there full time, you know, going into the office for two years, you kind of get set in new ways. So I'm curious to see what you think about this. Please comment below on uh, what you think is going to happen, how you think this is going to affect those corporate employees uh, on March 1st, 2023. Over at Disneyland, Magic Key holders get the opportunity to purchase an exclusive Disney 100 Mickey and Minnie Mouse collectible print for a limited time. The print, which is available now through January 18th, features Mickey and Minnie Mouse stylized like the most recent Mickey Mouse cartoons and Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway attraction, holding hands as they head towards Sleeping Beauty Castle. The collectible print was created by fan favorite artist Asia Ellington and can be found at It's a Small World Q area while supplies last. After 20 years, La Brea Bakery has officially confirmed its location at Downtown Disney is permanently closed. In a new message, the company said, quote, our cafes are permanently closed, end quote. Pretty straightforward. This includes a location in Los Angeles. La Brea Bakery is a craftsman style eatery for artisanal sandwiches and fresh California cuisine. The La Brea Bakery location closure in downtown Disney comes as the company plans to revamp the shopping district. The OC Register reported that the major renovation was initially announced at Destination 23 in 2021. The Earlis Sandwich Restaurant, the former AMC Theaters building, and other shops were demolished to make way for new additions such as the Chinese restaurant Din Tai Fung and Porto's Bakery and Cafe. While its cafe locations are closed, La Brea Bakery fans can still purchase its products at participating grocery stores such as Ralph's and Vons. But when one door closes, another opens, and the fan favorite Earl of Sandwich is returning to downtown Disney District at Disneyland next month in place of where La Brea Bakery was. Earl's Sandwich will open both a grab-and-go option and a new Earl's Sandwich Tavern table service location. Well, that's it for today's Decot Discast. Thanks for listening. 
Hold on, wait, that's not it, that's not it. Breaking news just came in. Uh, well, just came in as of this recording, and I needed to put in, I can't add the, I can't end the podcast without putting this in here. So, Disney World just made it easier for pass holders to take more spontaneous trips. And how did they do that? Well, Disney revealed yesterday that they'll be allowing annual pass holders to enter the parks after 2 p.m. without a reservation. However, pass holders will still need to schedule reservations for Saturdays and Sundays in Magic Kingdom. Well, how nice is it that? It'll be a lot easier for me to say, mm, it's a Wednesday night. You know what? Let's go to Epcot and check out the fireworks. Hmm. Next up, more free stuff. Wow, Disney, I can't believe that I'm actually using the word free and Disney in the same sentence. Genie Plus adds free photo pass downloads in Disney World. Disney has announced that beginning in the next few months, guests who purchase Disney Genie Plus will also get free digital photo pass downloads for attraction photos taken on the day of their purchase. Well, let's keep going with the free stuff. If you are staying at a Disney World resort and plan to self park, you can now enjoy it for free. Like the good old days. Wow. That's right. Guests with valid reservations will now receive free self parking effective yesterday. <laughs> Holy moly. Well, that's it for today's DCOT Discast. Thanks for listening and thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this Wednesday, Wacky Wednesday Discast, and we look forward to providing you more Disney news and adventures on Friday, January 13th. Dum, dum, dum. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs>